Get over! Away! A fiery horse with a speed of light. A cloud of dust and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. western United States. A man's life depended on the quickness of his draw. Violence and bloodshed were common, and it was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice that the frontier was made safe for honest men and women. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Tunnel's waiting on the trail ahead. We've got to hurry. Turn on silver. Away. In the dead of night, two men raced across the desolate, broken country near the foot of the hills. Yeah, hold on. Rain up. Hell. Get away from me, Josh. Get away. Give me that horse. Whoa. Whoa up there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let go of them reins. I tell you, I hid it. Whoa up. Whoa, boy. Whoa, whoa there. Where'd you think you was going? There ain't no use of stopping me, Josh. Let go of my pony. I'm, no, old I'm fool. A... Riding off into the moonlight. What's biting you? I can't stand it no more. Let go or I'll... You won't do nothing. Getting up in the middle of the night and riding away. Hadn't been for the noise you made roping your horse, I'd never known you was gone. Josh, I tell you, this place is haunted. Yeah. Haunted, that's what I said, haunted. The only haunt you got is in your mind. You've been chawing too much buffalo meat. Hell, you don't believe me, huh? No, on real sidewinder, of course I don't. But I keep hearing him, I tell you. Night and day, I keep hearing him. His voice screaming at me, kind of thin and far away. Like it was that day he, that day he drowned me a standing on the shore and him a swirling down the stream, screaming at me to help him, to help him. I keep hearing him, I tell you. I keep hearing him. I can't see him, but I keep hearing him. I look and he ain't there. Seems like he's coming from the sky, calling at me, calling at me. Listen. There it is. It's him again. I don't hear nothing. Are you deep? You got to hear him. You got to. My ears ain't so good, but I still it think was that him. you're... I hear it as plain as plain. I could have saved him, throwed him a rope, and I didn't. I let him drown in the water, swirling and calling, waving his arms in the water, sucking him under. Kel, you got to stop Maybe me. it's in my head. Maybe I keep hearing him on account. I deserve to die. I deserve to hear him. Hey, Let go of me. Let go or I'll knock you off your horse. Don't, Kel. Let go, I tell you. Let go or 
Look out! Look out! Oh. You ain't stopping me! Get him, boy! Get him! I deserve to die! You got my horse! Bring back my horse! I'm coming back! I'm coming! Cal, come back, Edgett! Cal! The crazy coot. He's heading right for the quicksand. Knocked me off my pony. Heading right for the quicksand, and I can't stop him. <laughs> Cabin all right, Hunter. Josh must have come back here after he trailed his partner, Kel. Uh, him go out on horse, come back on foot. Trail, speak plain. Come along. We left town to come here. Might as well go in and make ourselves acquainted. Uh, you lead, Tonto, follow. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Come, come on, on, boy. Get him up. We can find out a lot we want to know about. This. Look out. Him in door. Hold the hose of fire. Get back. Don't come no closer. Hold the fire. We're friends. I ain't got no friends. Keep your distance. Pull up that gun. Make tracks. You and that engine make tracks before I let you have it. What we do? That man answers the description, Tonto. That's Josh. I'll give you three. If you don't dust, I'm going to make you. One. We've got to see that man. Got to talk to him. Give Scout his head, Tonto. When I give the word, go in. Two. Now, Tonto. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. You and I get back. I swear I'll let you have it. Give me that gun. Let go. Your gun. Now there. That's better. Damn you. Did you want me to plug that horse of yours? I knew you wouldn't shoot, Silver. You ducked behind the horse. I couldn't see nothing to aim at. You and the engine. That's an old Indian trick, Josh. I'd have shot you, but not them horses. You figured that way, didn't you? You did... Hey, did you call me by name? I did. But I don't know you. You couldn't... What name did you say? Your name is Josh. Josh Carey. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought you said. I'm a mite deep, but that's what you said. Well, who are you? We're friends, Josh. What do you want here anyways? Mask man and an engine. Why were you and Cal staying out here alone? Why weren't you closer to town? Dad, blame it. You keep circling like a roped steer. I ask the question. Answer it. What you want here? I wear a mask for a reason, Josh. My friend and I are on the trail of two bad men. We learned of them in town. Ah, uh, them come this way. Huh? I suppose you're joining up with them. On the contrary. We want to catch them. Josh, the story in town is that you and Cal had some valuable furs hidden away. I ain't saying. If you have, those men are after them. Have you seen any strangers? Only you, and I'll soon see the last of you. There's another story in town, Josh, a story that deals with voices. Voices that keep calling. Oh, I never heard them. But Cal, Cal, he claimed he did. Cal, he... But there ain't no spirits. We'd like to hear about you and Cal, Josh, and your old partner, Bart. No. We've ridden a long way all night. We're hungry. You can trust us. I reckon I ain't got no choice. You got my gun. Besides, I ain't never turn away anyone that's hungry, man or beast. Well, come on. Duck your head, mask man. The door wasn't built high enough for you. I'll rassle up some grub for you. Thanks, Josh. Uh, not good. But I ain't telling nothing. Not about Cal or Bard or any fur. You savvy? I ain't going to tell nothing. Bard and Cal and me. Seems like a long time ago we went out trapping and fur hunting. We was real pards, Cal and me growed up together. And Bart, he, he sort of wandered in long about the time we was getting growing pains. Never was much for talking, Bart wasn't. Seems like at times there might have been something in his past he was trying to forget. But me and Cal, all we cared about was that Bart was a right good pard. You collected many skins, Josh? Always run into trouble, we did. We'd make a good catch, then we'd lose it. Up north in the game country. Then we done good three winters ago. We caught and skinned a... Well, we did all right. That was when you moved down here. Well, it was right after that when... When Bart grounded. Fell into the stream right after a spring cloud burst. But it wasn't Cal's fault. He couldn't have saved Bart. Even if he'd had his robe with him, which he didn't. It preyed on Cal's mind? Yeah. Claimed he heard Bart. Me, I'm kind of hard of hearing... But I didn't hear it, no how. Charge! 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 
What that? Tato, it's the voice. Old timer, listen. Yeah. You heard that? You must have. It. There it is again. Oh. Uh, listen. Uh, Josh, who was that? Yeah, you got a plum loco. I don't hear nothing. That spittered voice. What you staring at me for? I hear a little something. Sounds like a coyote. No use don't... arguing with you. Here, Silver. Here, boy. Here, Scout. Up, Tonto. Steady, Silver. Uh -huh. <laughs> we leave here. Yeah, get out and stay out. We're going, Josh, but you'll hear from us again. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. That's enough for now, Gunner. Careful. Slide down behind the ridge. Don't want anybody to spot you in the skyline. Yeah. Careful. <laughs> Sit right on that horn. <laughs> we ought to get some more bark and make us another one slag. This one's shredding away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe so. We used it up getting cow scared. Yeah, it sure makes a voice scary, don't it? Yeah, it's overused it for. Throws your voice way out. Makes it kind of echo. <laughs> yeah. It scared Cal into to go on to the quicksand. You sure he's a goner? Of course I'm sure. Didn't I see him right out last night? The moon was plenty bright to see by. Maybe he didn't get to the quicksand. He got there. I seen the tracks going right in. Yeah, but did you see him? How could I, you fool? That quicksand pulls him way down under. You know that. Think we're going to get that pile of furs? You think we ate it? Well, I don't know. We've been working on them. But the only one would fail for what was Cal. It won't take long for Josh Carey to get scared. You're forgetting he's all alone now. I ain't forgetting nothing, Slag. But I say move in. But for... Because we ain't getting no place. I can make that old gopher come across about them first. Tie him up and put a hot iron to his toes. It won't work. All his spirit stuff ain't working. Carey's stepping as a pack mule, Gunner. He'd rather die before he lets go of them pelts. From all account, he's got a fortune in that fur. I say move in. You forgetting who's boss? Now, look. I'm bossing this, and I say wait. Now, you want to back up your idea with gunplay or oh, not? Sure, sure, Slag. I, I didn't mean nothing. You're the boss, only I... Only that settled. There are more of them voices and... Yeah? Gunner, look over the ridge. Hmm? Careful now. You see him? Yeah, two of them. Hey, look at that white horse. Yeah, and that's the engine on the paint. Them two was at Carrie's cabin. <laughs> I guess my boy scared them off. Huh? Fool, not them. Gunner, I changed my mind. We're going to bust in on Carrie tonight. If you want action, you're going to get it. Huh? But you said just Use your eyes, bless you. Them two is going right past the ridge. An engine and a white man on a white horse. There ain't but one outfit like that. We're going after Josh because we got him for that hombre stuffs us. Gunner, that there's a lone ranger. Keep your eyes front, Tonto. Uh, don't look toward that ridge. Something there. That voice didn't come from any spirit, Tonto. It was real, even though Josh couldn't hear it. Uh, Tonto hear it. It was hard to locate the direction it came from, but I think I know it now. Uh. Just before, I caught a flash of light from metal. Probably a sombrero belt, a buckle or something. Mm, not bad. We might circle around and surprise whoever's up there. But if we do, there might be bloodshed. They're up on a hill. It would be dangerous to go after them. What do, then? Josh must be saved from those crooks, Tonto. But it must be done so that he realizes how foolhardy he is to keep valuable furs where they can be stolen. Not true. We head for town? Yes, for town. Let them think we're leaving, that they weren't seen. I have a plan, and let's hope it works. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Kyle Silver, away! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. 
Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. A short time later, as darkness settled over the town, men began to gather in the Silver Dollar Cafe. Uh... Did you hear? This Indian says he's seen Cal's ghost. Just rode into town. His horse was all lather. Hey there, you fellas. He is dead. Have you heard the news? You, you hear anything, Dave? Shut up and listen to me now. Quiet. It's that spirit talk. Cal's ghost. I don't know how Josh can stick it out there. Quiet. Yeah, I heard all about it. I seen the engine. You have? He rode into town, plum tuckered out. Leastways, he acted that way. He's over to Ma Barden's now, catching his breath. Did he see the ghost? He said so. I don't believe it. That whole country's haunted, I tell you. Now, wait up. Yeah, yeah, he babbled something about Cal's ghost. One Cal drowned in the quicksand? Now, sure, sure he was. And with all them voices Cal was a-hearing, it's no wonder to me that he can't stay put. All the more reason for staying out of there. Yeah, that's the engine story. Now, I don't hold much truck with redskins, but... Hey, look. It's him. It's the engine. Me. Me, Tonto. Me come tell you. Now, here, give him room. What for? He's just an engine. That's enough out of you, stranger. Yeah, let him talk. You seen Cal's ghost? Ah, uh, me ride from cannon. Here. Me hear spirit in sky. Spirit all around. Me ride past. There you are, I told you. All right, engine. There's plenty of us here that have heard them voices. That's how come we don't ride out that way much. Man there in cabin. Who? What man? You're talking about Josh? Him alone now. And that bad. You go bring him back. What? What's he saying? Go out there? Train up, engine. You mean we should go out and bring Josh into town? Ah, uh, him be safe here. No spirit, no voice. You bring him. No, sir. Not me. Let him do his own bringing. You're riding the wrong herd, engine. There ain't none of us is going to ride out there this time of night, not even to save George. Him need help. We warned him plenty before about that place. What you say about spirits? Well, maybe we don't believe in spirits, but we ain't going to find out. Yeah, maybe in daylight, but not when it's dark. Uh, I ain't hanging around listening to no engine argument into nothing. I'm getting on about my business. Sorry, engine. Much as we'd like to help you, that stranger had the right idea. Yeah, you... You wait. You listen. Uh, we had enough of this here spirit stuff. You go out. Bring man back. That's enough, Redskin. We got other things to think about besides helping out a stubborn old gopher who's too cranky for his own good. I say you go. Now, look at here. Who you giving orders to? Who do you think you are? If and Josh wants to take his chances, that's his affairs, not ours. Wait. Hello. What the? A masked man. It's a holdup. Don't slap, mother. The first man who starts to draw won't finish it. Did you see that? Them guns jumped into his hand. Grease like... I had a feeling Tyler wouldn't be able to persuade you to go out after Josh Carey. That's why I'm here. You aim to make a stranger? I only drew my guns because I had to. I won't use them. But I hear you say you're a friend of this redskin? We travel together. And we listen to the engine, working with a masked man. Yeah, yeah, it's a trap. There isn't time to explain. You're going out to Josh Carey's cabin. Now, hold on. If you're aiming to force it... I told you I won't need guns. Well, then who are you? You bust in here masked. You're with his engine. Me tell him Lone Ranger. He's local. A Lone Ranger? That's right. You'll have to prove that claim, stranger. Just because your mask don't signify you're the Lone Ranger. There's plenty of masked hombres, but there ain't but one Lone Ranger. All right. You ask for proof. Here, look for yourselves. Huh? My horse is out here tied to the hitching rail. Come here and look at him. Huh? Any of you fellows ever seen the Lone Ranger? Yeah. I seen him. You two men. You might not know me because of the mask, but you couldn't mistake Silver. Look out the door. Hey, that horse is a beauty. Ain't never seen one like that afore. Well, you two, do you recognize him? Here, Silver. <laughs> yep, that's him, all right. Couldn't forget that horse. Well, that settles it. You can put up them guns. You're the Lone Ranger, all right. Good enough. Now get your horses. We're going out to the cabin. Well? Uh, look, Ranger, we know you. We want to do what's right. But them spirits, that voice... That voice is not a spirit. I've heard it and I know. Josh needs your help. He has to be convinced he belongs in town with people who know him and like him. 
This kind of country is courting danger. You mean that, that voice is real? It ain't ghost? I give you my word on that. You do, huh? Well, that's enough for me. How about it, boys? Good. Now hurry. Get your mounts. Hot to it, boys. Fifteen minutes. That's all we need, and we'll be ready to ride. Me talk now. So what is it, Hunter? One man, him here afore. Him go for you come. One man? Huh. I saw one man riding hard as I came up. I think he left here. What about him? Tonto Nome. Him crook. What? You knew him? Him voice. You mean, Tonto, it was the voice that we heard out at the cabin? Not right. Tonto know. And he knows we're going out there. He must be planning to get to Josh ahead of us. You! You there! You calling me, Ranger? I ain't got my horse yet. I'm going on ahead. Follow as soon as you can. Me get Scout. No way, Tonto. You're staying with the men to lead them. Uh, we... I'll take Scout with me. He isn't winded. You just made it appear as if he'd come a long way. Not right, but... Where is Scout? Him at Ma Barden. All right. I'll get him on the way. Here, Silver. But, Ranger, I don't savvy. What in tarnation you want an extra horse for? I want him for Cal, Josh's partner. Hip, steady, boy. For Cal? But Cal's dead. He went into the quicksand. Everybody knows that. I haven't time to explain now. You'll learn later. But don't be surprised if he isn't dead. Come on, Silver. Follow as soon as you can. Come on, boy. We're heading for Josh's cabin. We've got to get there in time. Who's there? It's me, Slag. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gunner, whoa, 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 I put a bullet in here. Get your horse, Prano. Hey. I just come from town, Slag. That engine was in there talking to the men. I seen the Lone Ranger, too. Sure, we seen him heading for town this afternoon. Yeah, but that trick voice ain't acting like we figured. Hey. Them men are coming out here. They're coming to Josh Carey's cabin. If we want them first, we got to move fast. Get your horse. I'll hide behind the door. <clears throat> when I get set, you do the voice. Eh? Yeah, I'll make it plenty loud so you can hear it in his sleep. Start it now. Again, he's moving. Spirit. Get him, Gunner. What the... Give me that rifle. Inside, jump inside. Go on. Slam the door. Now you sit down. What tarnation you mean? I heard Bart. I heard his voice. We want them first. But you. It was your voice. You sound like Bart. You even look like him. But you ain't Bart. You can't be. No, I ain't him. I am his son. His son? Yeah. He didn't talk about me none, did he? Sure he didn't. On a con, he didn't like the way I turned out. <laughs> Him and his honesty. And Bart's son. No wonder he didn't say nothing about his past. And you're more. He died when I was born. That's enough of this. We whip him first. You won't get him. No. Oh. Oh, where are they? Go on. You can hit me all you want to. I won't tell. You're murderers, that's what. You drove Cal to his death in the quicksand. Sure we did. We heard about them first. We heard about how he was always blaming himself for Bart's death. So we thought of this little scheme. Only now we ain't got time for play acting. Get that rope, Gunner. Yeah. Sit still, you old buzzard. Well, what are you going to do? They're tying you up, see? You call us murderers. Well, that's uh, what you are. Ornery, no good murdering skunks. Well, tie me with them ropes, Slag. <laughs> sure, we're murderers, Josh. Before we're through with you, you're going to hand over them furs, and the same goes for you. If when I had my gun, I'd blow hey. you. Well, just stop her. You ain't tied yet. Did you hear nothing? Huh? Seems like you heard steps outside. Look out the window. Okay, it's oil paper, not glass. Can't see through it. George! George Hey, what the devil? George! I killed him! They ain't gonna hurt you! They did it to me, George! Uh, that's Cal's voice. It can't be. He's dead in the quicksand. We've seen the tracks. Cal, he's come back from the dead. Cal. It's a ghost. Tommy, get out. Where's the door? I'm getting out too. Don't move. What the? Not another one. It's a ranger. The lone ranger. Shoot him down. 
The next time it'll be you instead of your gun flag. Get back against the wall. Sure, sure. Anything you say. You're wanted for crimes all over the territory. This time your trail's ended. You've been after this for a month. And you're caught. Don't worry, Josh. It's all over. But that voice, it was Cal. <laughs> was you making that voice, Ranger? No, I wasn't. But that murder, Ranger, I heard it plain as plain. It was Cal's voice. But it couldn't be. Less than it was his spirit. It was done the same way these two made it appear that Bart's voice was talking. Yeah, but this one's Bart's son. The voice is the same. This time it had to be Cal's spirit. I recognize that voice anywhere. I tell Cal, you, it was... you can come in now. Huh? You're calling the ghost. Uh, was you calling me, Lone Ranger? Uh, hello, Josh. I'll be dead burned. Well, you ornery old polecat, ain't you glad to see me? Cal, you, you're real. Uh, sure I am. Uh, but the quicksand. You went loco and rode right for the quicksand. Yeah, I'd have been in it, too. Only the Lone Ranger come along. Him and that engine of hisn, they roped me and pulled me out. I've had Cal hidden away, Josh. Well, if these two believe he was dead... Well, me, uh, I believed it, too. You'd better on time, Cal. Yeah. Well, Josh, I'm sorry we had to fool you, Well, but... you should be. All the time, he's thinking you was gone. You get these ropes off. I... I, I could if I could see him better. Get them off, and I'll whip you with an inch of your life. Let me think you was... Oh, Cal, didn't you hide? I, I never thought I'd see you again. You're alive. Alive. I hope this teaches you a lesson, both of you. It sure does, Ranger. You're getting on in years. You're turning cranky from being alone. Why, you'd gotten so that you distrusted all your fellow men. I reckon so. That's why we was holed up out here instead of being in town. And yet those people are willing to help you. And we'll get them furs out of the hiding place and sell them for what we can get. And be... Huh? What did you say? I said the people in town are willing to help you. You mean that they... Listen uh... and you'll hear them. Horses. It's a posse. Right, and I can't hear nothing. Sure you can't, because your ears is just as bad as your temper, you old coyote. They're coming like a house afire the whole town. You think you can hold these two prisoners till they get here? Them two? Let them move one finger and I'll blast them loose from the boot. You're darn right I can. Then watch them, Cal. I'm leaving. Oh, there goes a real man, Josh. He sure saved us a plenty. Josh, you all right? What's going on? What the... Cal! Cal! Well, now take it easy, boys. I ain't no ghost. I'm alive. Well, sure we are. Cal didn't get in no quicksand. It was all a crooked scheme of these two polecats. Sure we're alive. We ain't kicking. No, sir. From now on, me and Cal's moving to town. We aim to be the kind of folks you fellas are. We aim to be friends. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.